Hey guys, it's your girl Reese coming to you today. I am getting ready to make some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Now, this is not traditional. I'm just winging it so we can eat, all right? But I'm going to use this great value sirloin Philly steak. It's thinly sliced. It's shaped, seasoned beef. Okay, now I am going to add a little bit of seasoning, and it comes in four little patties, okay? I'm going to add some sweet onion bacon seasoning, some bell pepper and onion. We're going to put this Velveeta cheese sauce on it, and we're going to add some Italian five cheese, okay? And then we're going to be done. So what I want to do first is say, welcome everybody. I didn't do that first, but we starting over, <laughs> Okay. Welcome everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and I look forward to meeting you guys for those of you that are new. So we're going to put some butter down in here and I'm going to put a little bit of oil with that. This is avocado oil. That was my last bit. Okay. I don't want this to burn, so I'm going to turn this down. I got it on low. So I'm going to add my bell peppers and my onions because I don't like crunchy peppers or onions. So we're going to add a generous amount. We want that to cook. Okay. cook down so they get they already soft because I put them in the process of I like them to be a little mushy but I did not go ahead and turn it into juice like I usually do I love the flavor but I don't like the crunch okay so I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit and I'm gonna let this go for about maybe three to five minutes and then I'll come back and put my meat in it all right guys so I have let them cook and now I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. Just going to break it up. I'm going to turn my heat up some. I'm going to put it on medium. Because I don't want it to boil. But I do want it to, you know, fry a little bit. Now what I'm going to do at this point. Is I'm going to put a lid on it. To steam it. But I want it the heat to be higher. I'm going to go up a little bit more, seeing how much it has cooled off. I need to adjust my heat. Okay. Got all that mixed in. I almost forgot my red peppers, y'all. So this is red, yellow, and orange peppers. We're going to put a little of that in there. It's almost ready. So we're going to let that go ahead and cook. Ooh, that's a nice little chunky piece in there. But that's all right. We're going to let it cook. Now, while it's at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season it. And all I'm going to put on it is the sweet onion bacon. This has become one of my go-to seasonings because it has every... I like the smoky, the sweet, the little kick of heat. All of it. Okay. Breaking it up. Okay. Got a little bit of beef base. I'm going to mix that right on in. I'm going to let that simmer, then I'm going to taste it, and that'll let me know whether I need to add anything else. I'll be back, y'all. I've tasted it, and I've decided I'm going to add a half a pack of Lipton onion soup mix, okay, or onion soup mix. If you don't buy Lipton, whatever kind you get, okay? And there we go. We'll let this simmer just a few more minutes and then it'll be done. I'll 
put a lid on it so that my water don't evaporate out so fast. And we'll be back when we're ready to put the sandwich together. Okay, guys. Now it's time to put our sandwiches together. Now, G likes mustard on his. So we're going to put a little mustard down. Okay. We're going to put some cheese because we want our cheese to melt. I'm not putting these in the oven. We want the soft bread. And I know the girls love cheese, especially Mia. Mia and Janae, they are cheese heads, but Janae's not here. Okay. So we have that. Now, we're going to take our meat. We're going to spoon it on. That was G's. The girls don't eat that much. Okay. Back in the pan. Put a little more cheese on top. Okay. Just a little bit. I know not to put a lot on G. Okay, guys, we're gonna add some Doritos to the plate. more than Jayla with certain things and she has more cheese. Okay. Last little bit. Okay. Panos. I know they smell good. You know, you gotta put a little juice on there. I love me some Doritos with some with some beef with a little bell pepper, onion, cheese, little jalapenos on that bad boy. And that's it, y'all. Alright guys, so we're going to make them an um, iced coffee drink. We're going to add a little bit of our warm coffee. These are for the girls. They like to go and get a coffee drink from Krispy Kreme. And uh, I'm not trying to take the place of Krispy Kreme, but I'm trying to take the place of Krispy Kreme. Okay. I'm not Krispy Kreme, but we're going to make one at home. How about that? That's one. That's two. We're going to do one more in each. I 
had to learn was add the powder creamer to the hot coffee. Otherwise, it will not dissolve. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to add some French vanilla creamer. Ice. Ooh, ice overboard. Okay. Some ice. We're going to add a little bit of sugar. And we're going to add our whipped cream. Let's add our caramel sauce. And Bobby's your uncle. We got a Risa latte. <laughs> Make G, what I call a remix drink. And we just got some um, ginger ale. We're going to add some grenadine to it. Ginger ale, let's see how far it comes. Grenadine, and this is the um, cherry pomegranate. Okay, that thing gonna be good right there. Bob is your uncle. Come back to get your reaction. <laughs> okay, now it's G turn. We're gonna take him his food. You ready? Oh yeah. You know I'm ready. Waiting to bake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's your drink. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what we got here, huh? We got him. Reese Philip Cheese. Mm. What do we need? It needs to get in my stomach real quick. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going in. Mm. There's a God somewhere. <laughs> Oh, they Yep. It's kind of dripping though, but yeah, it's really good. Mm. What you think, Jay? Jay getting down. What would y'all do without me? Really? I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, I don't know what we're going to do when we go to college. <laughs> what do you mean? That's why I'm trying to get y'all to cook and I'm trying to teach y'all these things before y'all go. I knew how to cook. What is she talking about? Look at I me. Mean, yeah, you do, of course, but I'm like, it's certain cooks. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know what I'm going to do. Especially when I get older. You're the one that doesn't want to get in the kitchen. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Y'all will figure it out.
So between now and the time you leave, the things that you really like, that you want to learn how to cook, you need to just come to me. All right? So from 1 to 10, what y'all give it? Be honest. 10. 10. 10? Yep. Is this on the menu? Yep. Mm. I knew she was going to say that. What'd you say, baby? Just needs a little bit more cheese. I told y'all she a cheese head. <laughs> Bye, sugar. What y'all say? I have made the best Philly cheesesteak sandwich I have ever had, okay? Oh, my goodness. Video is coming. Yes, Lord. She ain't never lied, y'all. Oh, my gosh.